Dr. Delisa Ski Henry, board certified OBGYN, here to talk briefly about the coronavirus, especially how it affects uh, my practice at this point in time. I'm an OBGYN, so I see a lot of concerned, now concerned pregnant patients. Uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of information as far as what we're seeing with coronavirus as it affects pregnancy. What we do know is that pregnant women are not, they are not more susceptible to contracting the virus. And this is the information that we have right now. Um, yes, our pregnant patients' immune systems are slightly compromised um, because of the changes in pregnancy, but they're not more susceptible to getting the virus. Virus symptoms may be just flu-like symptoms. They may have upper respiratory symptoms as well. Uh, we also know that at this moment, there's no evidence of vertical transmission of the virus to, um, to an unborn baby. Um, so uh, there was one case in England and it, it's sort of uh, still, still up in the air as far as whether baby's truly positive for the corona. There was a baby born to a mom that was uh, COVID-19 positive, um, but whether it's a, a true positive or, or just from contamination is still up in the air. But the information that we have out of um, some of the other countries that are affected, that there is no vertical transmission. And lastly, we know that there is no transmission in the breast milk of the COVID-19. So women are okay to breastfeed if, if they're wanting to separate themselves from their babies because of um, a positive or suspect a suspicion of being positive. They can certainly pump and, and, and provide breast milk for, for their baby. The risk of transmission um, is, is less than the, the potential benefits of breastfeeding. What can pregnant women do? I mean, just be smart, you know, try not to panic, do not panic. I mean, and, and just uh, be smart, you know, proper hand washing, frequent um, hand washing. Uh, we know proper sanitizing, avoid high risk areas. We talk now a lot about social distancing. Uh, avoid um, areas where there are going to be multiple people and multiple risks for, um, for infection. Um, do what you feel makes you feel safe, whether that's staying home, whether that's avoiding unnecessary trips, you know, avoiding close contact with, with people. Do what makes you feel safe. Um, uh, just be smart um, and again, try not to panic. We will, we will get through this.